The Association of Women's Health, Obstetric and Neonatal Nurses has been the foremost nursing authority promoting the health of women and newborns. And they're doing this by strengthening the nursing profession through the delivery of superior advocacy, research, education and other professional clinical resources for nurses in their area of specialty. Every day is definitely different. Hey, come on, the baby's coming. Things happen in emergencies. The, baby's coming. the best healthcare outcomes would just come when everyone works together as a team, and if there's no trust, there won't be a very really good team, and without that, you, the patient won't have a very good outcome. And on this day and at that time, there was a very good outcome. A healthy child was born. When you go home that day, you tell yourself like, wow, I made a, a difference in that patient's life. Um, I feel that that may, is like the core of nursing where the, your patients are able to put their trust in you. Diana Rumbo knows she plays an important role as a registered nurse in the labor and delivery unit at George Washington University Hospital. This is our aqua doula tub. Um, this is a nice alternative for pain management for some of the patients. She, along with many other nurses who work here day in and day out. So here's our lovely little monitors that are nicely worn on the patient. Say their work is gratifying. You're being part of someone's memory, um, and even if you might not remember them, they will definitely remember you. Um, and you're bringing life into the world. We have a lot of new moms who have never held a baby. They don't know how to care for them. So my goal is to teach them how to feed their baby, care for their baby, care for themselves, and then be able to go home and do that on their own. In fact, that's one of the main reasons Deidre Bali says she loves what she does, educating new mothers. We constantly reiterate to them and reinforce that everything that we're teaching them is evidence-based. It's evidence-based you know, on what science has proven, and that's where A1 helps us because we rely on what A1 standards are. A1, or the Association of Women's Health Obstetric and Neonatal Nurses, is considered the foremost nursing authority in promoting and improving the health care of women and newborns and strengthening the nursing profession. Different hospitals are really doing it differently, so the consistency that A1 provides really makes a difference in being able to um, give the safest care that we can. The role of the modern nurse within society today is complex, varied, and vital. Increasingly considered as healthcare leaders, they navigate the industry through the effects of regulation, emerging technologies, and providing valued care and improved outcomes. One of the things we're most proud of at A1 is the fact that we produce the best evidence-based guidelines and care for nurses in our specialties. A1 CEO Lynn Erdman says nurses look to the organization for the most up-to-date and most accurate guidelines. But she says with all of the job's joys comes incredible responsibility. Well, worry about equity. You know, is the person that lives in Colorado going to get the same thing that the person that lives in South Carolina going to get? And, and truly access ought to be universal. It's working with women, working with babies, working with nurses at the grassroots level, in labor and deliveries across the country and even worldwide, uh, showing them showing them even more than telling them what it is that you should be doing to support or to care for the women and babies that you're caring for. What's important to me right now is reducing infant mortality and maternal mortality. I'm concerned because in the United States, actually, maternal mortality after delivery is rising, not falling. And through A1's work in both research and on Capitol Hill, A1 President Emily Drake says she's seen success with advances in their obstetric safety patient education to help make birth safer, as well as reducing postpartum hemorrhaging, which saves lives. You know, nurses are the number one trusted professional in this country, again, for the 15th year in a row, according to Gallup polls. We're the ones doing the care at the bedside. So what's really important is that we preserve that role of the nurse, that we provide nurses with the best resources, with the best evidence, the best research, so that we can care in the best way for those women across their lifespans and the babies that we serve. As a recognized leader in promoting the safety and quality of care for women and newborns, A1 will continue to work to increase the visibility and diversity of A1 and its nurses through technology, advocacy, and enhanced member engagement. There are so many times you don't know what's coming through the door with that new mom in labor, and you have to have the knowledge and the skills 
to recognize that and to intervene. And A1 has given me that. In the evidence-based guidelines, they have ensured that I have the up, most up-to-date information available. Immediate past president Susie Ketchum believes nurses are the most trusted leaders because of the relationships they build and the passion they possess. Nurses are the glue that holds together the foundation of health care in the hospital. And is leadership a part of that? I, oh, most certainly. I mean, le nurses are leaders at the bedside, um, and A1 helps to forge that leadership relationship that a nurse has, whether it be at the bedside or in the boardroom. Nurses are frontline advocates for excellence in health outcomes of women and newborns. With the healthcare industry undergoing significant reform, they are essential to better long-term outcomes and efficiency. In Washington, D.C., I'm Danielle Elias.